Matt Swidlick here at i3 Detroit where I just finished soldering together my Arduino controlled sous vide. I wound up housing the project inside a cigar box that I picked up for a couple of bucks at a local wine shop. Uh, inside you can see the Arduino, the power tail, a couple of electronic pieces, just basically a resistor and transistor um, uh, for turning on the power tail, and a, uh, another resistor for um, uh, tying down the temperature probe. Uh, we also have the, uh, the the speaker module and a couple of seven segment displays and a up and down button for controlling the button. By default it starts up at 149 degrees which is what I actually seem to like my eggs at. Um, and so yeah, basically it. that's it. When the unit first comes on um, it will beep when it comes up to temperature. So the current temperature is 131 the set temperature is eight. so if I just turn it down to so a little alarm to let you know that the water's come up to temperature. So that's it for the feature set. So just give it a good crack. too much of the shell into the egg. Break off enough to get the whole yolk out. That ought to be enough. And then I just like to pour it into a teacup. Comes out pretty solid. Use the spoon. And then that's it. A little jiggling, you can see the very round egg yolk. Okay. So now the yolk would have a consistency, not unlike butter. Yeah, here, so it's easier to see. So it's cooked all the way through. It's just cooked at a very low temperature for a very long peri uh, period of time. So it gets a very interesting consistency. But the egg white is is cooked. It's just liquidy because there was no place for the, the extra moisture to go. So it's sort of like it's it's cooked in its own eggy deliciousness. And, you know, as you can see, it's actually like got a consistency. All right, I'm not going to do it right which I always do. A little pepper. I think this might be the first meal in the electronics room. Right. I think it's still recording. I got on the plate. Yeah, good. Oh, hell yeah.